Professor Alok Pandey, who of course is the director at IMS Ghaziabad, and of course Mr. M. M. Ansari, who is a noted educationist, also former member of the UGC. Uh, sir, thank you so much for joining us on this broadcast. Before I get uh, to the students, I thought I'll uh, get the voices of uh, you know some educationists and some experts who understand this and have been in the profession for a really, really long time. Professor Alok Pandey, I want to come to you first. This academic calendar is unlike any academic calendar that we've seen uh, in the past. I want to understand from you how easy will it be to implement this calendar considering the fact that five to six months have already been lost? Uh, largely, uh, we need to look into one of the uh, uh, aspects, uh, Ridhima. Uh, first of all, thank you very much for organizing this program. Uh, uh, television and media are the places where students go to when they need to know about these things. Uh, but yes, uh, uh, for the public universities, a lot of the institutions, uh, a lot of time has uh, been lost. But it is not more important than the lives of the students. Uh, nothing gets, gets lost if you, know, if you lose a few months and you are safe. Uh, most of the other institutions actually, as per AICT calendar, they've been allowed to function from around 17th of August onwards. And uh, the uh, private institutions which are under or the other institutions which are under AICT, they've started functioning online. Uh, for the universities, of course, the new guideline says that they'll start now from 1st of November. But as far as I understand, it's not going to create much of a trouble uh, because the focus is on the safety of the students. Uh, if you look at the problems, this disease, although not uh, very deadly in terms of the mortality rate and high uh, recovery rate in India, it does have a, a, a huge uh, uh, impact uh, in terms of uh, uh, its, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's fairly contagious. Once you open the campuses, uh, it's not just the students who will be exposed, it is also the teachers and the staff members who will also be exposed. So we need to be prepared. Yes, of course, some part of the curriculum which could have been covered till now has been lost, but I don't think much of a damage has been done. Uh, we need to really look into uh, rationalization of curriculum. Already, uh, the UGC has said that the classes would continue on Saturdays as well. So keeping in view... Uh, and of course, they said the uh, 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 the vacations will be curtailed. So, you know, overall, my view is that the safety of the students and the staff members and the faculty members is paramount. This being a contagious disease, probably students would not get hurt as much as yeah. the teachers who are in the senior age group. And majority of them probably may suffer from some of the other comorbidity.